So, today I was just thinking that we just need not to be so focused on the money that we forget to serve people. I mean, that did used to happen to me a whole lot of the time, and the first time I recognized it, I was, you know, starting up in business in property because I was, <laughs> yeah, I did rock bottom, and I was feeling pretty darn broke. Um, I really needed the business to work as soon as possible, and I was determined to make it so, any old how. I just wanted to learn the strategies and I'll just do whatever they tell me to do. I don't care about, in some ways I wasn't saying that, that I don't care about the people, but I was acting like I didn't care about the people. Okay, I'm not the, I'm not nasty or anything. So I didn't do anything obviously nasty, but at the same time it was more of an internal thing where I wasn't at all really thinking that I was dealing with true people. You learn these strategies, these tips, these tricks, these all this stuff, and you, you try and just apply it, you forget that you're applying it to a person. And yes, we want to learn the strategies for sure, but we want to keep the focus on people. The fact that we are serving people, even if you don't see people on a daily basis, you still want to focus on the fact that you are serving people. Because if you don't serve people, then people don't buy it from you, okay? They, they sense that desperation, even if if money was an actual living creature, it would go running for the hills because when there's too much neediness around something, then you don't get it. You just don't get it. So even I had to come back to a place where I, I remember actually sitting down with a vendor, someone who wanted to sell her property. She had a story around her and I sat down with her and listened to her story and suddenly I realized why I was doing this whole property thing was actually to support people in some kind of need. And because she sensed that care, and yeah, I did have the strategies to back me up, so I was able to support her and able to help her. So then we came to a deal that worked for us both, and yay, I did my property deal. <laughs> and that was cool. And, and I went on to do more and more of that kind of thing where I'm listening to what the agents want, what the owners want, what the um, tenants want as well. Sometimes I got far too involved in the tenants' lives, actually. But then in, in the process of listening to them and really trying my best to serve them within reason, because you know what, some people have some crazy demands that you don't have to live by or fulfill, but still I suppose my heart always had to stay open to the fact that I want to try and serve people one way or the other. I want to try and make sure I leave a situation better than I found it where I can. I can't help the world and that's okay. But then I moved into doing coaching because people asked me if I could help them with stuff. And I'd always kind of wanted to be this whole coach person. Um, but, and I got into coaching for, the good, for a good reason of supporting other people in building their own businesses because I had managed to leave pharmacy and done it through my own business within eight, 18 months. So people wanted to know how I did it and if I can support them in doing it. And yeah, I started to do that and I felt really, really good about the work that I was doing. But then I suddenly got into the online side of things and it's like, oh, what offers can I offer people? And can I just, uh, let's tr follow this tip, this trick, this strategy. Let's, uh, and then I realized, even though I'm online, these are people. These are people that I'm dealing with. And so I had to bring myself back to, these are people, okay? Every single person on my mailing list is a person. Every single person of the, what, 18,000 people on my Facebook page is a person. Unless, of course, they are not a person and they're just some kind of weird computer thing. Hopefully they're not. But <laughs> it just occurred to me. <laughs> but you know what? Every single person is a person. And when I forget that, my money starts to dry up. When I'm more concerned about how I come across, how I show up, how, I, how people will perceive me, money starts to dry up. But when my focus is on how I can support people, when I'm asking them questions about how I can help them get the results that they want, when I'm paying attention to what seems to be happening to the people in my world, then money starts to flow. The more people I truly serve, the more money I make. Same with you. The more people you serve, and you do that by paying attention, go where your ideal customers are. Go where your ideal clients, whatever, are. Listen to what they're saying to each other. Go into groups online, go into forums, whatever. Find out where they are and listen to what they're saying. Listen to how they're feeling and then speak to that need, okay? 
not just speak to it as some kind of persuasive, influential thing, but more as a thing where you are actually literally trying to serve them. You really do want to supply a, a solution to their problems using your product, your service, and there's nothing wrong with that as long as you are coming from a place of truly wanting to serve people. And I get it. It's really hard when you're trying to make money. Maybe you're transitioning just like I was and you really want to be making the money right now. But it doesn't sell, guys. It doesn't sell. You have to do the work, no doubt about that, but you also have to choose to serve people. Yeah, we know the big picture that we're working towards, but today we are working for that one person in front of us. Today we're working for that one, one person in front of us, and then the next person, and then the next person. It's never just a group of people. It is one person who we are speaking to. It is one person who we are serving. Keep the focus on the right thing, okay? And, I, and yeah, the money will follow. Of course, be wise. Learn the tips, the tricks, the strategies. Do not let people's opinions determine the pathway of your business, but choose to, to hear where people's hearts are and how you can serve them. And then if it's within your, if it's within your remit, serve them in that way. Okay. Okay. Well, it's time to fight for, to create the life, the business you want. If you would like a personalized blueprint for your business, then you need to come pop over to rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash business breakthrough. Let's have a complimentary 30 minute conversation where we can set out a plan, see what you're trying to accomplish, see what's getting in the way, put a plan together and yeah, see if we want to work together or not at that point. But pop over to rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash business breakthrough if that sounds of interest to you. It's been a pleasure. Until the next time.